Good morning, everybody. I'm reading today Numbers 14, verse 36 and 37. Now the men whom Moses sent to spy out the land, who returned and made all the congregation complain against him by bringing a bad report of the land, those very men who brought the evil report about the land died by the plague before the Lord. Amen. Twelve men went to spy out the land of Canaan and brought back their reports to the Israelite congregation. All twelve spies agreed that the land was good and, in fact, described it just as the Lord had promised it would be. It truly flows with milk and honey. That was their testimony. And they brought back some of the land's amazing fruit to prove their point. But sadly, only two of the twelve spoke with faith to the congregation about taking the land. The other ten could only see strong people in the land, fortified cities, the descendants of Anak, Amalekites, Hittites, Jebusites, Amorites, and Canaanites. All the peoples, incidentally, that the Lord had already told the Israelites would be in the land. These ten spies flatly declared, we are not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. They infected the congregation with their unbelief. As we know, the result was that Israel would spend 40 fruitless years wandering in the wilderness until the last of that unbelieving generation died. But, as we read, the ten spies themselves came under God's judgment much more quickly. They each died from the plague. It must show us how seriously the Lord takes this ministry of unbelief. Unbelief is a killer. It is also unreality. God says what he means and means what he says. Our part is to believe him and to enter in to all that he has said, not to sink into miserable complaining and self-pity. We are to keep our eyes on the Lord and his promises, not on the giants we face. And we do face giants. If we are ministering words of unbelief to other people, we had better beware. Thank God that every one of us has the opportunity to believe God like Joshua and Caleb did. If the Lord delights in us, then he will bring us in, they declared. And the Lord does delight in all and any who take him at his word. They enter in and enjoy the good of the land. It is their day-by-day -day experience. May the Lord give us grace to speak words of faith and encouragement that will build one another up. Amen. Have a great day.